Hello and welcome to Watercolor After Dark. My name is John Walker and tonight we're going to work on some clouds. Um, we're going to do some different things with skies and putting clouds in them and kind of making the uh, painting more interesting and give you some points on, on doing that kind of thing. So look forward to it. Uh, we should have a good time. It's not going to be a real long video, um, but uh, it should be interesting. So we'll get started. Okay, we'll get started with skies and clouds and making things interesting. Don't try to adjust your set. It's a little blurry on purpose because I've got the focus set to a certain depth because I want to show this first of all. This is kind of what we're going to be working on. This is sort of what we're after um, when we're done. And it just, it's just a way to do, it's a simple way to do skies and makes them quite a bit more interesting. So now that we've seen that, give me a second to do some adjustments. Okay, now that that's out of the way, this, like I said, this is what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna set this, probably be out of the shot, but um, I'll refer back to it periodically. Um, what we're gonna start with brush-wise is a natural hair mop. Um, and I always, I like natural hair for a lot of reasons. I like natural hair brushes because they tend to hold a ton of water and pigment, which is color. And then the other brush that we're going to use, the other the other brush we're going to use is a is a synthetic. It's a smaller synthetic and I'll show you what we're going to do with that one. But some things about sky and color and if you look at some of the old old paintings, some of the old masters, they don't just use let's say a cobalt blue or an ultramarine blue. They tend to have an interesting tint to their to their blues. So I, I've spent some time kind of looking at some of those guys and what I've found um, either through reading or just kind of in experimenting is they do a mix of a couple different colors, maybe even three. But, um, so what I've kind of wound it down to, I'm gonna make a clear spot on my palette here. Um, get some of this out of the way so I can have a clear spot to, to work with. My palette's usually a big mess all the time. So there's that's out of the way. So I'm gonna use a cobalt blue. I'm gonna mix that cobalt blue and this is just you know, one and one, it's, you know, we're not going to make it complicated. I'm going to mix the cobalt blue with a little bit of ultramarine blue um, and kind of get that mixed up. And then I'm going to probably, what I'm going to do is bring in a little bit of manganese blue. And if you don't have manganese blue in your on your palette, you're missing a pretty cool color there. So. Those three colors I'm gonna kind of mix up together and then I'm gonna kind of see if how that looks. I think I need a little bit more ultramarine blue. So I've got that in there, I've got that on the brush. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is when we go to the when we go to the paper, I'm just going to touch, pull up, touch, and kind of move it around a little bit. Um, and then you'll see where there'll be some hard edges here and we'll have to quickly get to those with the synthetic brush because I want to kind of make some of those hard edges softer so I'll bring in the synthetic brush with just clean water and then I'll just kind of move around on that. Now there are going to be some hard edges which are going to be right up next to the white part of the cloud because the white part of the cloud is kind of what's reflecting the sun. So I want to keep some of that but I don't want it all. So just going to kind of move around the painting here just sort of brushing it down on the edges and smoothing that kind of stuff out. Now I'm not going to do much more on the blue part there but what I am going to do is I'm going to pick up a completely different color and it's going to be more of a more of a red it's it's really what I do is I take a little bit of burnt sienna and I mix it with a little alizarin crimson 
and it's real it's really light I'm gonna pull the palette over here so you guys can see it it's this is what we're doing here so I got a lizard and crimson here and then I've got the burnt sienna there I just sort of just throw that around and I kind of want it to get a rose color um, like a dirty dirty rose burnt kind of rose color and then I've got that on the brush and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna to the the sun's kind of coming from this way we're saying so this side of the cloud is gonna be a little darker um, and be carrying some other you know some moisture and things like that but that's where I'm gonna pool up some of this and I'm just gonna let it kind of come down and come through and then kind of drag it across and kind of mess it up put it over on this side too and a lot of times clouds you can kind of get away with a lot of stuff you can kind of do some fun stuff with clouds and still make them to come out but you want them to be interesting so we're going to do a couple different layers to that now i'm going to come back with my synthetic with clean water and i'm also going to do the same thing on in some spots i'm going to smooth it out kind of make it go together there kind of smooth it out like that now the next thing I want to do the next layer of this really simple but quick little demonstration on clouds is you want to get a little bit of indigo blue and kind of mix it on the palette with some of that other blue that you already had there and it's going to kind of give it a charcoal -y blue feel to it and I may even bring in some neutral tint to really give it a a hit and that's going to be your your darker parts of your clouds and with this still wet these portions still wet I'm going to drop in some of this and you'll see how it, and I've got my I've got my board tilted at about uh, it's about 15 20 degrees I've got it tilted so I'm just if that's going to run down on the wet spots of the of the painting and kind of pool up down at the bottom of the clouds where they where it belongs so there we go and I'm just going to clean off this bottom section because that would eventually go into if you were going to do a ground and all that it would be down there on that side so I've got this much in here now blue sky back there you've got a cloud kind of building up here and then here's some darker spots and some hard angles so what do we do on the hard angles same thing we've always been doing here tonight is we just we kind of erase them because we don't really want those hard edges in there at least I think it's more interesting if it's a little little softer um, now there are some like I mentioned before there are some but for the most part there's not now another color since this is it's got a good mix of warm and cool um, but I'm going to do one more step here is, is I'm going to bring in a yellow ochre and I'll bring my palette over. I'm going to bring in this yellow ochre and mix it with that last color that I just did and it kind of warms it up a little bit. So I'm going to drop that in and you'll see it'll kind of give it a, a little bit of an interesting look to it. Just one more layer of stuff in there. So that's my approach really to clouds. Now, if you really want to get fun, I've got another color, cobalt teal blue, that I pull in on occasion. And one thing, and you can use the smaller synthetic for this, is you pick up some of this cobalt blue teal and drop it in here. And I put a little bit on one side, let it bleed in, and then I'll put a little bit on the other side and let it bleed in. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I like to kind of connect my paintings from side to side, top to bottom. It just sort of gives it a, a good feel. Now there's that. Now, right now it just probably looks like, it just looks like whatever. It just looks like a bunch of colors on there. But to bring it in and kind of make it feel like clouds, I'll bring in my small very small tipped brush um, and I'll pick up some of this darker um, neutral tint and some indigo so it doesn't look just black and I'll kind of get it on there 
and I'll do a test with this because it's got to be almost just right for this to work. So I'll take another piece like this one and I'll do a test on it. So yeah, it's about right. Okay, so the consistency is right on the painting. So, and I'll find a spot that's dry here so I don't, and I'm going to put a couple little birds flying out here. And that sort of brings it together of it being a cloud. Now there'll be other things that bring together via cloud, but just for for today's demonstration, it'll help with there's one that's a little closer, it's a little bigger. Um, so there's a seagull. So that's my demonstration on clouds. I hope uh, hope everybody got something from that. Be sure to be sure to watch uh, the rest of the videos that, as they come out and. Uh, Hope everybody learned something from tonight. Everybody have a have a good night.